Hi guys, the Thai has gone. Everyone knows Alex Pereira used to be a filthy drunk. But did you also know Alex Pereira invented the most effective alcohol recovery program in history? Before we discuss Poetan's revolutionary six-step method to defeat alcoholism, let's briefly go over his history with the disease. Alex is a based child labor supporter. He willingly dropped out of school at age 12 to work hauling tires and stuff at a mechanic shop or something. He quickly picked up a taste for a local distilled sugarcane rum at his workplace. This gave him the strength and energy to work long hours as a child and to stack paper through his youth. Despite seemingly being extremely beneficial, it was actually destroying his health. Alex realized he needed to find something healthy to occupy his time. So he decided to join a martial art. This is a pretty common step in Alcoholics Anonymous programs. It was not very effective. It did not help Alex actually quit alcohol and he was still abusing the substance while training. This was noticed by his coach who encouraged him to do an indigenous detox. This coach is extremely based because he's also a shaman and he detoxed Alex Pereira in 2012 as the second step of his Alcoholics Anonymous program. Apparently this worked, this was like 11 years ago at this point, and Alex has been sober since. However, just because he has achieved sobriety does not mean he does not battle with urges. This leads us to the third step. Instead of forgiving people and trying to make amends to those he wronged, Alex decided to develop an unjustifiable hatred and sense of vengeance for a man he had already bested two times in kickboxing. Israel Adesanya was just chilling in another sport, having a good time in the UFC, laughing and playing, lapping the division. He wasn't even talking about Alex. Alex really was Izzy's biggest hater, and he used this irrational hatred to help fuel his road to recovery from alcoholism. This is so big brain, high IQ, most of you probably won't be able to wrap your heads around it. However, vengeance was not enough for Poetan. He still craved the sweet taste of distilled sugarcane rum from his home village in Brazil. He makes a Brazilian moonshine called cachaça. I want to learn how to make this cachaça. He decided to convert to Islam in 2015, three years after doing his indigenous pagan detox. This is another big brain, high IQ move. Muslims hate pork and alcohol. And every Latino knows nothing is better than some chicharron and some rum. Chicharron is made at home. Excuse me. Despite seemingly converting to Islam, Alex Pereira has never confirmed that he is a Muslim. That's because he's not. Where are the Mexicans at? Where are my Mexicans at? The fifth step of Alex Pereira's Alcoholic Anonymous program is to revert again to indigenous ancestor worship once the sort of puritanical anti-alcoholic Muslim community has done its job to keep you away from alcohol, go back to your roots. These are, these are expensive shoes. These are not like your literally, your Payless shoes that you got on right now. I don't know what you got, but these are from Habib. Your boy, you know him, right? Has he ever bought you anything? This is a super based and alpha move. Native Americans are not known for alcohol tolerance. So going from a zero tolerance Muslim community 
to one of the most drunk communities on earth just to test himself shows how much of a Chad Alex Pereira really is. Going from a pagan to a Muslim back to a pagan is nearly unheard of. And this really shows Alex was insincere when he converted to Islam and was just doing it for his recovery from alcoholism. This leads us to the sixth and final step of Alex Pereira's Alcohol Anonymous program. Instead of getting a soy sponsor to babysit you for the rest of your life, move to Connecticut and start drowning your sponsor in rivers and just laughing, chilling, and playing around while normal alcoholics struggle with an overcomplicated 12-step program. Alex 10 7 alcohol and is now just chilling, pushing geriatric men's head under the water, you know, going for walks in Connecticut. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you think Alex Pereira fraud checked Alcoholics Anonymous? I'd like to give a big shout out to all my channel members. Without you guys, the channel would not be possible. And a special thank you to all my Lion Tier members, Cultus Gordon, Uniform Down, Ninja Choke, Mexican Gnome, Clarence, Mike Brannigan, Javier, Cobra Kai, Pigger, Strap Joxon, Patrick Call, Droid C, John Paul DeHoria, Palpadank TV, Calico, Jack Clash, High Cap Native, Wings of Heart Problems, Boss Skaggs, and RC Cola. Dime, Bobby. Dime, mommy.